I saw you have great implant systems in the in the pipeline and you learned a lot of systems and probably you have already in your mind some main features which the implants needs to have in order to make your treatment easier and more predictable in your procedures. You know probably already that an implant has to be um, high, it has to have a high uh, bone implant contact surface and the designs of the implants are all made in a way that that it increasing this, those, uh, this surface because this is, uh, is giving you a long-term stability of uh, the, the surface of the osseointegration. You can see that in the body of the implant, the implant is aggressive, which is good for the sponge's bone and you have in almost all systems an, an undersized drilling procedure. The drilling is smaller than the implant, so you have that cutting procedure, cutting feature which is going into the bone, which is letting the implant go into the bone and giving you in almost all the bone qualities, also in extraction sockets, a very good primer stability. You have in the color part and part which is not so aggressive. Why? Because we know that the cortical bone is, is less vascularized, is more sensitive to forces, is in, is the forces are uh, transformed through the through the uh, small um, design of the threads of the small thread uh, design in in smaller forces which should protect the cortical bone uh, and avoid uh, resorption right you need to maintain that bone and the color of implant because what happens when you don't maintain you lose the bone and you take the soft tissue with it so this is what you see in the old um implant restorations that nobody took care about the thickness of the bone about the thickness of the soft tissue and also implant designs were different so you take an implant design which makes your life easier uh, and give you some predictability in that since we know a lot about biomechanics right now so also you can see you have a kind of concave profile of the of the running room of an emergence profile and you can see, you know that where you see in very in the most let's say advanced or modern implant systems and in the last couple of years implant systems implemented them but it, um, yeah there were a couple of implants which had that from the beginning on where the studies already were showing this uh, this good feature what is the the benefit of it the soft tissue is Concave profile, you know from the prostodontics, concave profile is taking, is collecting, is uh, attracting the soft tissue, is giving the possibility the soft tissue to have a certain volume and height, and you, which you can use to protect the bone underneath, as you will see, and also to have a certain height of the soft tissue to have papillas between two adjacent implants. Right? So, um, we saw already in 2007 that there are some factors in the implant design which are influencing the resorption or, or preserve the peri-implantal marginable. So that was one of the first studies in that region and I, ha I see that even now in the uh, research gate is really cited this uh, this uh, article very very much because it's a, one of the first and one of the ones which col are collecting all the data uh, also uh, the micro motion so the connection is an important issue right the the and you know this uh, frankfurt study for sure there are two different studies left and right but the right picture probably you know and you saw uh, that micro motions are also giving um, bone loss and micro motions uh, are, ha are happening when the connection is not tight enough one secondarily when the micro gap is very near to the bone so what what do we do we do we take implant systems which are they having a tight connection less micro motion or the less micro, micro motion as possible and the less micro gap one and moving the micro gap from the bone level which is called the platform switching design which is probably which is probably the most familiar thing that you that you uh, know from the continuing education which you did so we were talking about point one initial stability which is giving by that external design by the thread design 
uh, platform switching design, which is moving, so avoiding the micro movements and moving the micro gap from the from the bone. And then you you need a very tight connection. And you can see that the most modern systems, uh, based on studies there, which are showing that the that the most stable conical connection is the most stable, is using are imp implemented this in the implant system. Um, avoiding micro movements and avoiding micro gap so that conical connection seems to be smaller than a bacteria and a concave emergence profile for aesthetic parameters so all if you have the choice you choose implants which give you this 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 advantages a good implant dentist if he knows the features of an or he knows the advantages of the features of an implant or disadvantages is able to choose and to use right the right system but if you you choose implant systems which have certain features it makes your life easier there are in, um, there are clinicians which are still inserting polished color implants in a certain way because they know what the polished color is doing they know how the bone behaves so they insert the implant a little bit deeper so then the the soft tissue will come to the polished color. So that is the strategy behind it. That is why you always need to know the features in order to understand the advantages of an implant system and to use it accordingly. Um, look at the studies of the implant um, behind the implant, reliable studies. Now also the studies which are showing uh, general uh, features because for example about platform switching there are 300 articles over there so of course you take something for uh, for platform switching also the certain studies behind a certain system to see if their features are really following those rules so both uh, are are needed to be to be followed so that is why we when we use an implant system and now now we know a lot of it about it but at that time and this is also a couple of years ago uh, we checked the properties of an implant systems first in a clinical study over 100 implants and we evaluated the success rate the bone loss um, the particularities of the aesthetic outcome based on surgical methods based on some parameters which we use not only in the choice of implants of the implant system but also in the surgical procedure uh, and in the prosthetic procedure so those are all studies which which um, cemented and checked the reality the clinical outcome uh, in the real life of implant systems